Hello, this is a video on how to play uh, the card game hockey, uh, also known as card hockey. And so card hockey was primarily made for Canadians uh, because Canadians love their hockey. And so this was sort of a simulation of hockey through a card game. So even when Canadians didn't have the opportunity to play hockey, they could still play uh, through this uh, card game. Um, and so hockey is a fun, easy to learn card game played with four players divided into two teams. So we have one, two, three, four players and one, two teams. Team one in this case is Canada, and team two in this case is the USA. That's just for, I guess, fun, like a little country versus country. However, in all honesty, you just really need two teams. Players try to score goals by matching the card an opponent plays before them. So what is needed is a 52-card deck, four players, and a pen and paper for score keeping. Each player is dealt 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You score goals by matching the card played in the middle. So your objective is to score goals by matching the card played in the middle and having more goals than your opponent after three periods. So if there is a five in the middle if i play a five i match the card in the middle and a and i score a goal the game starts with the player left of the dealer playing the first card into the middle play continues when a card is matched in the middle the middle pile is collected by the team that plays the matching card and play continues until all cards have played and so we match the card in the middle scoring a goal when a card is matched in the middle, the middle pile is collected by the team that scores the goal. And so let's just start out with this. We'll play a 5. A 5 matches the card in the middle. So team 1, in this case Canada, um, wins, scores a goal. Um, after a player scores a goal, the next player, um, in a clockwise fashion, uh, the next player who, after the player who scored the goal in the clockwise circle, begins the game. So you'll never have two, a uh, one singular player making two moves in a row. And so, do we have a six? No, we don't. And so we we can play any card then. You can play any card, but if you can match the card in the middle, then you play that card because you can score a goal. Each pile, each card matched in the middle counts as one goal. Each team adds up their goals. If you're playing in real life, you'd simply collect the pile in the middle, add up the number of piles you have collected, and that is your number of goals. And the team with more goals is awarded the difference between their goals and their opponent's goals. Um, you could play like that, or you could just simply say, "Hey, which team has more piles?" I mean, I mean. You could say, hey, each team has this many piles, they have this many goals, and so that is how we will play. And so, that's that's actually simpler as well. And so, what is the objective of the game? The objective of the game is to score goals. You score goals by matching the card in the middle. Each time you match the card in the middle, your team gets a point. A jack is a block card and cannot be matched for a goal. This is because a block card cannot be played on another, on another block card. So we cannot play a jack on a jack. Thus, you can't ever score on a jack because you'd never be able to match it. Thus, it is considered a block card. So, in essence, if there is a jack in the middle, you can't play another jack on it. And so you can never score on a jack. So it is considered a block card. So, you simply match the card in the middle to score a goal, 
Jacks cannot be scored on and are considered block cards. The team with the most goals after three periods wins the game, and a period ends after all cards have been played by each player. Um, and the real strategy in the game is to basically memorize what cards your opponent doesn't have and play those cards whenever you think it is safe to do so. You want to play cards that the player after you wouldn't have. And that way, you know that they cannot score. And so I'm not sure if the player after me has an um, 8. So I'll play an 8. He does not. And so the player after me played a queen. Player 1 played a queen. Player 2 matched the queen. And so that's another goal. So this is quite easy. This is a block card. I cannot match it no matter what. So I'm just going to play a card that I believe my opponent would not have. I'll play a 3. The player 1 did not have a 3. Player 1 played an ace. Player 2 matched the ace, scoring a goal. Player 2 played a 2. I do not have a 2. I will play an 8 because player 1 does not have an 8. Notice how a jack was played with a jack there. I mean, there's no real harm to doing so, uh, but you can't score on it. And so why would you want to waste a jack playing a jack on a jack when you have already been blocked regardless? Unless you want to block the player after you as well. Now, here was a 10, and I do have a 10. And so I can play a 10, matching the 10 in the middle, scoring a goal. You played a 4, I cannot match the 4, and so I will play an 8, because I know player 2, player 1 does not have an 8. Player 2 matches the king in the middle, scoring a goal. Player 3 plays a 10, I do have a 10, I can match the card in the middle, scoring a goal. He plays a 4, I do not have a 4, I will play a queen. He plays an ace, and now Plage is just moving in a circle. I do not have a four. I'll play a king. Lucky for me, player one did not have a king. I cannot match the eight. I have to play a nine. But my teammate was blocked. I do not have a four. And so you might say, wow, a lot of cards are being played. But it doesn't matter after how many cards you match the card in the middle. One goal counts as one goal, regardless of how many cards are played. And so it does not benefit you to score a goal after a lot of cards have been played. In this case, no team scored this goal here. All team, all players, uh, because no team was able to match the card in the middle, no, play, no team scored that goal. Since all players played their cards, the period one is complete, and the score is 6-0. You shuffle the deck dealing 13 cards to each player again and now you start the second period because hockey has three periods so this is a six we cannot match it and so we'll play a queen player one had a queen and so that sucks for us and so they are scoring some goals here unfortunately this is just not this is just not our game right now So we scored a goal there, and so that's good for us. We scored another goal there by matching the card in the middle. <sighs> this is just not going our way. Blocked. Um, I'll play a seven because I don't think he has a seven. Yeah, player two, did, player one does not have a seven. And so there, they have caught up already, and you can see how easy it is to catch up. I'll play a 7 because I know player 1 does not have a 7. If he did, he would have matched it. I'll play a 7. I know player 1 does not have a 7. If he did, he would have matched it. A 3. I do have a 3. I'll match it scoring a goal. I do not have a queen. I do have a 2. And so I'll match it scoring a goal. I don't have an ace, and 
So the second period was complete. This is the score after the second period. And so this is quite an easy game and it's quite fun as well. And you can get through the games quite quickly. And so he played a 5. I do have a 5. I will match it scoring a goal. He played a 6. I do have a 6. I will match it scoring a goal. He played a 10. I will. I do have a 10. I will match it scoring a goal. So we'll play Jack here to block player 1 from scoring. Player 2 scored. So my team, Canada, scored a goal. He played a 2. And so I do not have a 2. I will play a king. Hoping that player 1 does not have a king. Now I know that player 1 does not have a king. I have a king. I will match it scoring a goal. I do not have a 4. I will play a queen. Player 1 does not have a queen because if he did he would have matched it. And so if you play a card and the player after you does not play that same card scoring, you know they don't have that card. Otherwise they would have scored on it. So I don't have a 4 and so I'm going to play a queen because I know that player 1 does not have a queen. Because I played the queen last time. And so he played a 5. I do not have a 5. And so you want to strategically play the card that you know other players do not have. I don't have a 10 and so I will play a 3. I will play a 7. Matching it, scoring a goal. Scoring a goal. And so as you can see, it's quite a simple game. And so let's go over the rules. What are the rules? Just a quick summary, although as you can tell, this game is quite simple. The game starts with the player left of the dealer playing the first card in the middle. When a card is pl played in the middle, you would w the objective is to match the card played in the middle, scoring a goal. Play continues until all cards have been played in the period, played in a round. Once all players have played all the cards, that is the end of the period. You will play three periods, just like a game of real hockey, trying to match the card in the middle, scoring a goal each time you successfully match the card in the middle. A jack is a block card and cannot be matched for a goal. If you place a jack on a jack, it is not a goal. It merely continues the block onto the next player. And so you simply want to score as many goals as you can, matching the card in the middle. A period ends once all cards have been played. A jack is a block card. That wraps up how to play hockey. It's quite a fun game, and it was invented by us, because Canadians cannot get enough of hockey. So, remember to play hockey. It is our game, and um, that's it. Thank you for watching.